You know that good feeling when a thief is caught red-handed? Well, today we are going to... Hey, I'm Ini. Welcome to Ini Cyber. In this video, we are breaking down how an intruder attempted to break our system and how a SIM tool like Wazoo can help detect suspicious activities in real time. We will go through three phases today. Setup, attack, and detection. So here's the plan. Our network is split into two segments separated by the firewall, the external network and the victim network. Inside the victim network, we have our Wazoo manager, a Linux victim machine, and a Windows victim machine. Both victims have the Wazoo agent installed which forwards logs and alerts the Wazoo manager. This way, if any suspicious activity or a break-in happens, the Wazoo manager will catch it. On the other side, we've got the attacker. The attacker will attempt two types of attacks, a brute force attack and a ransomware style attack. Now, to help you visualize this better. Here, I've mapped the architecture diagram to my actual home lab setup. On the left, you can see the diagram and on the right, you see the live virtual machines. This way, you can clearly see how theory matches practical. Now, let's move into phase one. Wazoo is an open source security platform that provides extended detection and response and security information and event management capabilities. In simple terms, it acts like a CCTV system for your infrastructure, constantly monitoring activities detecting threats and alerting you about suspicious activities. For this project, we'll focus on four main components. Wazoo indexer, the Wazoo server, the dashboard, and the agents. The indexer stores and indexes security data. The Wazoo server processes logs and applies detection rules. The Wazoo dashboard is a web interface to visualize alerts and activities. Wazoo Agent is a lightweight program installed on victim machines that forward logs to the server. Wazoo has made installation much easier with an assisted installer. By following just a few steps, you can set up the indexer, the server, and dashboard in minutes. The agents are also simple to deploy. With scripts available for Linux systems and an installer available for the Windows, you can easily set up the agents on the machines. I have already set up these components in our home lab, so let's confirm they are working properly. On the Wazoo manager, I'll run sudo systemctl status to check the status of the Wazoo manager. We can see here it's active and running. We can repeat the same checks for the dashboard and other services, which are also active and running. Now let's verify the agents on our victim machines. Now on the Linux machine, we run the command and the Wazoo agent is active and running. While on our Windows machine, we can check the Wazoo agent manager. And right here, we can see the status is running in the Manage tab, we can start, stop, or restart the Wazoo agents. Finally, let's confirm this in the Wazoo dashboard. To access the Wazoo dashboard, we would log in through the IP address of the Wazoo manager. Next, we will log in with the credentials. From here, from the agent summary, we can see two are active. Here, we can see the first is the Microsoft Windows Server, our Windows victim machine. And here is the Ubuntu. This means that the Wazoo agent is active and running. With phase one complete, we are now ready to move into phase two, which is the attack. We will now move into the attack phase. For this, I'll be using Kali Linux, which is a penetration testing distribution commonly used for offensive security tasks. Disclaimer, all demonstrations are performed in a controlled home lab environment do not attempt these attacks on any systems you do not own. Before launching the attack, let's set the ground rules. 
we will assume the attacker already has some reconnaissance information. They've gathered basic knowledge of the infrastructure. They may have acquired leaked credentials or password lists from the dark web. They know the target IPs and some usernames. Now let's see this in action. The attacker starts by pinging the victim machine to confirm connectivity. Once reachable, the attacker uses Hydra, a brute force tool with a large word list and the known username. Hydra attempts multiple SSH login combinations against the Linux machine. While this attack runs, let's look at the Wazoo dashboard. I've cleared all alerts beforehand, so we will see only fresh alerts from the attack. As the brute force continues, alerts start appearing. We see several high severity alerts generated in real time. The MITRE attack mapping highlights credential access, which is exactly what a brute force attack falls under. Reviewing the logs shows multiple failed SSH login attempts and repeated authentication failures. In this case, Wazoo helps us clearly identify that a brute force attack attempt is in progress. At this point, I'll stop the attack and move to our next scenario. For the second attack, we will simulate a ransomware infection on a Windows machine. The attacker prepares a malicious file, in this case, a simple batch script called evil.bat. This script demonstrates what ransomware could do by creating a file on the desktop called hackdemo.txt with the message any cyber hacked you. Also overwriting another sensitive file like password.txt with fake ransom notes. Using SMB client, the attacker connects to the Windows share and uploads the malicious file. On the victim machine, the file is executed either by tricking the user into running it or through remote execution. Once triggered, the file executes the malicious command. I'll go ahead and double click the file now to run it. As you can see, the hack demo text was created instantaneously. Does this look familiar? Many of us have probably run malicious code on our systems without even realizing it. Now let's switch over to the Wazoo dashboard and see what's happening. Right away, we can see a series of alerts, some medium severity, others low severity. Looking closer under the MITRE attack framework, it flags integrity checksum changes. This means a file on our system has been tampered with. And here we can actually see the exact files that were modified. In the password, it shows our passwords have been deleted and the attacker imputed this text. In the new created file, it shows any cyber hacked you. This would be the conclusion of the phase two. In this final phase, let's round things up. From the Wazoo dashboard, we clearly saw alerts grouped by severity. This gives us visibility into what happened, which machine was affected, and it helps us to prioritize responses. As a quick bonus, here's my PFSense portal. You can see the attacker network, the victim network, and even a Splunk interface, plus the custom firewall rules I set to keep this demo controlled. And that's a wrap for part one. In part two, I'll reveal a secret tool hidden inside PFSense. If you think you know what it is, drop your guesses in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.